Hey Magic Community on YouTube, T1 Glistener Ralph here. The FNM at Home event this time around is Artisan. It's a format that it's Popper plus, what was the uncommon only one, uh, put together, but only for standard. So for that, now our quest is cast 30 red or green spells. Now I have Cavalcade, and Cavalcade doesn't take that many cards to change out. I took out the Chandras and random stuff that shouldn't have been in there anyway, like Immolation Shaman. And that should make it work. So, let's pick a deck. Ah, uh, Okay. Okay. That's... That's neat. Alright, let, let's go back. Go back. Yep. <laughs> the following cards are banned. Healer's Hawk, Precision Petitioners, Cauldron Familiar, Cavalcade of Calamity, Gates of Blaze, Veil of Summer, Zenith Flare. Okay, well in that case, um... Hmm... Okay, we're gonna quickly throw together something else. I'm going to go back to Mono Green Ramp, and take out all of the rares. So let's see, that means you, hello, there we go, you get taken out, and you, 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 oh jeez, we're good. <laughs> I see, I see an issue that might occur. Alright, so with the exception of Incubation Druid, everything else we took out was a curve topper. Uh, well actually, no, let's include that for now. Go to Common and Uncommon. Got our colors. Um, hmm, okay. Let's look to see if there's any more ramp that we can add to make up for the Incubation Druids. I don't know if it's strictly necessary, and I could just burn some wild cards for it, but let's see. Bonds, just to give me some life and to... Sure, Let, let's include... Uh-oh. Oh, I... There we go, that's what I meant to do. That's right. Alright, that's not ramp, though. Let's see. Anything else? Uh... Hmm, okay. Yeah, sure, that's fine. Alright, so then now I need five more cards. And for this, we're going to look at the top of our curve. Actually, is Meteor Goal. That was an uncommon, right? No, no, I don't know if that's in standard. It is! It is in standard. But it's a 3 3. Uh. That seems less than ideal. Let's, let's keep looking at green cards. Alright, so a 5-4 with Trample that draws a card when it dies, that's okay. Uh, hmm. Hmm. And I guess in a lot of cases, this is just a slightly bigger... Uh, no, no, it's not. Let's see. Nyxborn Colossus. <laughs> We're getting into super silly territory here. I mean, you do what you have to do. Can't be blocked by creatures. Yeah, sure. How many? Just one? Okay. Howling Giant. Create two wolves. Sure, why not? Riot. Trample. Convoke. Hexproof. Uh, sure, what the heck. It's a very technical magic term, what the heck. Comes this target, blah 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 blah. You may draw two cards. Actually, yeah, let's include you and take out... Uh, one of you? Oh, no, other direction. Other direction. There we go. I don't know, this, this is silly. This doesn't seem like it should work. Which means it probably won't. But, I'm gonna give it a try. This is... <laughs> good grief. Alright, so let's try this again. Go in here. The only applicable deck. Alright. Here goes. Alright. Well, that was silly, but... Watch me go 04 here. If it looks particularly dire, I'll just go until... Just the two wins. Spiderware, okay. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Give them the hello once they've finished. Cool. Pass. 
I'm green, so no need to hold full, hold full control. Hi, Owl. Okay. Right, wall of Ruins. Interesting. I have a sneaking suspicion that we'll have big enough creatures to get over that. At least hopefully. If this doesn't go horribly, then we will. Big if, but still. No, I did keep a hand without any payoff, but I am hoping that we'll get there. We even have the fertilids to uh, dig us there. Oh, Paradise Druid. In that case, I'll just play both of these. Just one. See if it gets countered. Essence Scattered. That seems like it'd be a really strong card in this meta. Or Spectral Sailor. Okay. Let's see. What else? Alright. And then pass it right along. All of the ramp. Approximately all of the ramp. Oh. Flash deck. Okay. Supplemented by Wall of Runes. Hiya. Please, something I can spend this on? Nope, not yet. Well, in that case... Does it get countered now? Hmm. So I can use this to just dig through two, which I think is what I'm going to do, instead of playing the other one out. Let's see how they would like to attack here first. If they attack with the Night Bonder, we'll block with Druid, and then use Fertile it twice. Okay, casting it now. Sure. So far I'm only seeing one color. I'm waiting for Shark to come out though. Sharknado. Mystic Sanctuary. Oh boy. Let's see. Who's coming? You too? No? Okay. Just the one? Cool. I think we'll be okay. Let now for some deck thinning. Yes, I would like to be the one to search it out. Let's see if we play. That one. Specifically that one. Alright. What else would you like to do? The, the flash deck. I'm trying to think of what all answers they could have. No, wait. What rarity was the shark? Giant shark. Counter shark. Uh, not that shark, but that one, that one works, I suppose. Let's see what they're targeting first. Cool. Cool. That one. Alright, so this will bounce it to hand. It's not ideal. Come on! Please! Okay, so this leaves me with enough mana that I can play the carry added, and I can use Fertilip twice again. Alright, Pouncing Shore Shark. Uh, no blocks. Oh, you... It doesn't have Trample. Oh no, it, it flies, never mind, that's right. I, I knew it had something. I was thinking, why didn't I throw the Fertilit in front of it? Sharks, for some reason, have flying. That's a thing now. Alright, let's activate this a couple times again. In before mutates on the Shore Shark again. And they can actually just draw another card. If nothing else, they can do that. They don't feel threatened. Which, why would they? It's not like I'm really doing anything over here. Alright, please. 
Please. No! Oh, this is not working. This is not working at all. Alright, so there's one. Okay, if they can do it again, it's out of Paradise Druid range. Oh no! Yeah, yeah that works. We need to find something quickly. Now it's actually probably too late. Yeah, it's too late. What's done is done. It is so late, dude. I guess I'll cast them both just for the quest, but it doesn't really matter. Because this thing flies, and I don't have reach. Alright. Indeed. I'd have a tiny bit more time if I had blocked the 6-5 on the ground. Alright, let's try that again. Once again, oh. Here we go. MX Rider 420Z. <laughs> yes. Okay. Maybe this will work. That's one of the weaknesses of just ramp decks in general, especially ramp decks that don't have any card draw in them. Uh, unfortunately, that can just happen. Alright, there we go. Give him the hello. At least this time we should have an actual game, and being stop giant serving as both ramp and payoff seems pretty good. Oh, uh oh. Better hurry. Being stock first. Dick thinning. <laughs> no, let's not say we didn't. Yeah, the cycle deck also seems pretty good. All of the creatures I can think of off the top of my head, Flourishing Fox, Valiant Rescuer, and the red one that does damage when it cycles. Uh, all of those are applicable in the format. Oh, okay. Imposing Vantasaur. You're just a giant creature. Okay. We are getting out of range scarily quickly. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. We did miss a land drop, too. You know, I, I kind of wish I had run land destruction. Ooh, now I want to run, I want to make land destruction a thing for this artisan format. I can do it. Yeah, no blocks. Let's take it. Oh, better late than never, I guess, but it's not a great time. So, if I use Fertilid twice, I can block and then use it twice. Let's see. That'll put me up to, this should be a stack of four, five, six, seven which is a beanstalk giant. So we'll pass. Okay. I actually also forgot that ominous seas happen to be an uncommon. It makes sense, but I had forgotten that. It just feels so good. That's a 7-5. Which actually we could have just cast there. I don't know that what I'm about to do is necessarily right. Oh, nothing. Interesting. Whoa, 
Well, we already made our decision, so we might as well do it. Get that one out. And another one. Now, in those colors, what can they do in the face of a giant beanstalk giant? Or am I actually supposed to play Fertilit here instead? Just to ramp even more and thin the deck out even more. Maybe? See, I do have to worry about those ominous seas. I probably need to try to race them, don't I? Yeah, we'll do this instead. This, this seems like it might be right. Just get out an A8. That will very quickly challenge those seeds. Okay. Lifelink. Interesting. Well, it doesn't have Trample, and that's what we care about, because we can play Fertilit next turn. And then block with it, sack twice. Sack, but you know. Oh, geez. Two lifely counters. Let's go. Alright, we're getting there. It's getting a little scary, to be honest. Ooh. Okay. This can actually be a combat trick. Popped it. I should have popped Fertile at once. I'm not entirely sure why I didn't. I just forgot. That would have put them at 13, which maybe matters. Maybe. Rescuer. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah, and they definitely are the inevitable deck here. I need to be quick. I need to be careful about this. My 7-5 is not going to do enough. Alright. Oh, they're just making it now. I mean, I guess. Why not? Alright. Are you attacking? Cool. Move to blocks. Block here. Alright. Then... Let me... There we go. There we go. So this will negate the lifelink. Oh, they're just going to do it now. Okay. Interesting. And I get both. This doesn't have trample. Nope. Okay. Let's uh, get some insight first. Or actually, we, sh we should use root first, shouldn't we? Deck thinning and all. No, no, because we need the mana, potentially. Ah, uh, okay. Well, I mean, I guess that that happens. Six. Seven, eight, nine. And then, ah, oh, Jay, you genius. This thing doesn't have trample. So they block with the 1 1. Well, it's okay. I mean, I can't just sit back. Otherwise, they're going to make even more of those things. And I'll be in trouble. I can't just do nothing. Because these don't sack themselves, they just require you remove 8 counters. So next turn, we'll play out the uh, elemental. Although it is entirely too small for what we need. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Well, crap. Okay. 
yeah, I have a sneaking suspicion that they have this game. I'll play it out, but I think that they have me. I actually might need to keep the Paradise Druid so that in conjunction with Elemental, it can actually kill a Kraken. Stop draw. This is one of the weaknesses of, of decks like this, unfortunately. Auto pay. Um. Let's see. What can I draw to get me out of this? Now they can't attack, but that doesn't matter because they'll eventually swarm me with Kraken. Krakens? Kraken. I think it's Kraken. Krakalakin. Alright, he's out of coffee. Oop. <clears throat> oh boy. Yeah, now they don't even need to attack. Jeez. I mean, I, I might as well. Deck thinning and all. And then pass. Ah! It's not going great for me. <laughs> okay. Jeez. Jeez. Uh oh. Oh no. Are there any uncommon rats? I I'm switching over to land destruction after this. I am 100% doing land destruction. I will make it work. Let's see. Well, I'm... Oh. I mean, sure. I guess. So let me see. I have to. I can't use Fabled Passage. I don't have Tri Lands, Temples, Shock Lands. I need a bunch of Tap Lands to make Land Destruction work if I'm going to do three colors. All right, play it out. Let's see. So if I just do Green Red, Paradise Druid for Ramp. Uh, you can also use. Where's our baby? Our baby's not in. Uh, the two mana one makes one mana of any color more if you have a creature that's big enough. Uh, oh, yep, 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 yep. They can they can do the math here, and so can I. You know what? Why am I even doing this? I already know they have me. And then, good game. Good game. That was neat. I'll give them that. That was neat. That was cool. Alright, so yeah, we're switching it up real quick. I'm just going to quickly throw together land destruction because why, why be nice to people, right? Alright, so let's see. Make it artisan. Oh. Okay, uh, that's not a format from which we can choose. We'll start off just calling it Land Destruction because I'm not completely sure what my colors are going to be. I would like to be able to have blue for Growth Spiral, but let's... Oh, oh yeah, no, we're not done yet. Oops. <laughs> okay, so we'll start off red, common and uncommon. Uh, four. Destroy. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Uh, I guess I could also run black for... There is a six mana land destruction spell in black. Uh, but then I would lose ramp. So we're not having that. Then we switch over to green. And then add. Oh, I still have it set to four. Uh, two. One or two. No, it would just... Okay, fair enough. 
one, two, three, four. And then any additional ones can be Leafkin Druids, probably. At least that's a decent blocker. Hmm. Shh. So the version that I run currently only has eight ramp spells, four Grow Spiral, four Paradise Druid. It might even be okay to have more. We'll throw these in for now, and we can take them out if we need to. Okay. Uh, damage. Cool. This is, this is uh, a lot to <laughs> come up with. Um, shock seems okay, actually, since I'm not constricted by a companion anymore. So we could do shock. We get definitely lava coil. Absolutely zero chance we don't run that. Uh, scorching dragon fire. And we can take some of these out in a bit if we need to. Which we will. Oh, we're at 57 already. Good god. Okay, wow. We will have to. Because now we need payoffs. So, red and green. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, not one and two. Four, five, six, seven. Creature. I guess it's not necessary to be a creature. Um, creature, enchantment, artifact. Let's try that. Okay. Well, we're going to go through a lot of junk here, as we as we do. Um, we did see Shaman earlier. The Gruel Shaman. That might be kind of interesting. Um, need to stall the game long enough that we can get something like... You know, not a 3-3 three, three with flying. Something a little bit more substantial than that. Little bit. A lot bit. Um what is this? Deals damage to no. Actually, that might be kind of interesting. Hmm, because it she herself can do it. Exile the top card of your library, you may play that card this turn. Yeah, that I'll keep one of her. Flying deals kind of each player discards their hand, then draw seven cards. Uh, well, we are trying to keep our opponent off resources, and giving them a ton of lands doesn't seem like a great idea, unfortunately. 5-5 uh, five, five, Haste Cycling. That might be okay. Put you two in. I know it says 60, but I'm, gonna, I'm going to keep looking. Count the number, blah, 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 blah. Okay, cool. No, uh, no. Let's keep going. Uh, so Fire Breathing. Actually, that seems kind of decent, once we get up to that much mana. Which we should be able to do. Alright, I'm going to keep continuing to look. Let's see... The top four cards, creature from amongst them, okay. Not in this deck. Um... Let's see... This would be nice if I had more creatures. At least three green. Okay. Maybe. We'll see how the mana base shakes up. Hmm. Once again, showing itself. Uh, other creatures you control, blah blah blah. We could actually take out the druids and put in uh, beanstalk giants as just a big creature that serves double duty. Beanstalk giant. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, we, we're running entirely too much ramp in this deck. Eleven sources seems a little much. Hmm. Especially since it's not like we have the land destruction spell that cycles that used to be in standard, so that if you didn't need it, you could trade it for another spell. Uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three... Hmm, this would give me eight ways to have turn three land destruction. Uh, oh man. Oh man. Uh, do we have too much removal? I guess I could take out two shock and have eight just like the other deck. So we could go two shock, four coil, two dragon fire. And then this gives us four, five, seven. You're not really a win con, but I guess we'll. No, you're not really a win con. So seven win cons. 
Uh, that seems pretty low, actually. It seems like I need to have some more. Alright, sandworm. Hmm. Okay. Let's see, what else? In addition, so we had the uh, multicolored one. Ah, Sunder Shaman. There we go. Can't be blocked by more than one creature when I de destroy target artifact or enchantment that player controls. The mana base might be a bit tricky, but we should be able to make that work. Two. And I could take out... I actually don't dislike that because it cycles early game. Um, this seems really strong. But yeah, it's probably better to have the Sunder Shamans. It's significantly less mana. I can ramp into it early. That seems right. Now let's work on the mana base. Oh, hi. We still have it sorted by creature, enchantment, artifact. There we go. Okay. Uh... Maybe switch that out? Okay, I don't know how to do this part. Oh, it's just all messed up. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, that's why. That's why. All right. Welcome to live deck building with T1 Glistener Elf. I apologize in advance. All right. So, ju oh, geez. Just the guild gates. R really? I don't have anything else. And I don't even have the common wild cards anymore because I'm still waiting to open those packs with Evangeline. So... <laughs> I actually don't have any anymore. Um, let me see if I have any that say any color. And actually, while I'm at it, okay. Nope, we don't. Okay, cool. Uh, how about ones that are no color? And qualify. Evol oh yes, evolving wilds. Of course, of course. Um, that's that's a good way to go. We'll go with, in my opinion, the cooler looking art. It's trees getting ripped apart. You can't, how can you go wrong? So we'll swap these. Because early on, green is probably more important. Okay, uh, this looks really, really wrong, but we might be able to make it work. Sacrifice unless you pay one. And I'm short. Uh, do I need to play this? just so that I can be more consistent with my mana? Maybe? Oh dear. Then go to six of each. But then I, I give up my turn two. Which I might have to do. Let's try it without. And this is not going to work. But <laughs> we'll try. We'll try it. Right, switch our deck out. Hey, there we go. And off to the races. Yeah, we're probably only going to play to two wins for this video. Probably. Just maybe. Ah, oh, here we go. Alright, Pixie Dust. Sounds familiar. Haha, ha, but there's no ramp. Um, sure. We'll try to make it a thing. No promises, as Evangeline would say. No promises. But we'll try. Okay. Whale, then. Yeah, the Seer is supposed to try to make us go through the deck a little bit more quickly. Uh, again, we're not running blue, so dead draws are a serious thing. They're a serious concern. Alright, hello? Is this the Ajani sleeve? Yeah, that's pretty cool. Charmed Stray. Cat deck hopefully. Cool. Alright. Where's the meow when you need it? Another free-to-play player. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's a must-kill. That's a absolutely a must-kill. I'm sorry. We, we need to get rid of this thing now. I'm sorry, Paradise Druid. That will get out of hand. And once it gets out of range of Lava Coil, we're, we're in trouble. Beloved Princess. Okay. Well, if they start throwing down a bunch of uh, enchantments onto her, 
that won't be too much of a concern, at least I hope. We'll see what they play next. If they miss a land drop, I'll start going for rubble reading. By power three or greater. Aha, okay. Um, you seem like you're going to be a problem later on. But they can just sack the Allsade. But that's okay. That's okay. Make them sack a creature for a creature. That's alright. I can live with that. Alright, in that case, they missed a land drop, so let's start blowing up lands. Alright, see how we go from here. Let's also get a scry going on early which I certainly appreciate. What are they debating here? Is there a Karametra's Blessing? Plus two, plus two, if it's enchanted or an enchantment creature, indestructible hexproof? I mean, not that it matters for this land, but they have something they can do at instant speed. Ooh. Ooh. All right, Paradise Druid goes down, but Lava Coil gets to stick around. That seems like a decent top deck. I don't think we need even more ramp. We could use lands, but not more ramp. Next turn we can go carry added and lava coil. Though I'm not sure we need to spit in the coil just yet. Yeah, in this case, let's do rubble reading again. Alright. That one. Specifically that one. Uh, Demolish Mountain. Okay. So, I can go Mountain next turn. Hmm. I don't know that I necessarily need Demolish just yet, since I'm going to be probably destroying a creature next turn. So we'll do it that way. But I would like the Mountain. That would give me a uh, Seer over here. Seer is a title, right? Or is it Sir? Sir Kura? I'm not sure. Alright, so play this, blow this up, there we go, cool, and now we even have a blocker. Alright, let's see if they found a land. If we can get them to concede. Who is Pixie Dust? Oh, I know, they found a land. Well. Alright, so they have a pump. They have No, they don't. Okay. They didn't have something that they could play at instant speed there. In that case, let's play, let's play Sir. I'm, gonna, I'm going to say Sir because it seems like a title. Could be incorrect. I don't know. Sir Kara. Let's see. Hmm. Uh oh, I, I waited a bit too long. Whenever a creature you control attacks alone, you get okay. So weird exalted shenanigans, kind of. All right, activate, target them. What do we have? Oh yeah, we'll cast that instead. Actually, no, we should we should use this first. Get red mana. Now let's fire it off. Okay, what do we have? We're good on lands. A demolish would be nice, though. And then I have this, like, TCG version of an option select. Okay. Um, well, if it attacks alone, it's the number of creatures, not the number of other creatures. So it'll trade with Sir. Let's, uh, poke them. Let's see what we get. A druid. That's not great. I can go druid shaman. Probably. Oh, mm, it's okay. It'll ma we'll make it work. At least this poses a slight inconvenience for them. And I can start uh, destroying. If I find a land off the top, I can throw both demolishes at them. Just set them back to the stone age. Also, if Sunder Shaman connects. It destroys this. You know, destroy target artifact or enchantment that player controls. 
cool armor, dude. It's got like the juggernaut thing going on with the headpiece, I think. Uh oh. Uh, seems okay. Seems good. Seems good. Good, good. Alright, that's not what I meant, but we'll take it. So we'll fire this off first, get a forest, because I'm doing things way out of order. Playing super tightly over here. Alright. Destroy. No enchantment removal in this deck, unfortunately. Alright, so if they find any sort of deck... Actually, no, never mind, doesn't matter. It's gonna be a 3-3. Ooh! Nice. Alright, there it goes. No blocks. Not yet. Okay. Shock it now. Boom. Alright, blow that up. And then hi -ya. That's not to say that they're out of the game, but I suspect that unless they just top decked it, they don't have a one drop. It also didn't force them to combat immediately, so they have something they can play. Okay. Isn't that... No, 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 that's not how it works. It's, uh... No matter what, it always gives you the prompt to go to combat, I think. Alright. Where's the sorry icon? I would like that. Boom. So land destruction doing exactly what it's supposed to do, as always. Hiya. Boom. Alright, pass the turn. Keeping the land in hand. Please don't have anything. Let me just poke you to death 11 more times. That does not a winning strategy make, though. I need to actually have something. Especially since Druid only has one toughness, so even a Charmed Stray would be a problem for me. Okay. That's fair. Uh, now we'll play the land out. Cool. There we go. Yeah, we could, we could use something. Alright, there we go. Hiya. Anything. Okay, they didn't find a land. We are getting a little bit lucky here, though. Alright, so this actually will make more mana. Not that it matters, but it slightly helps the clock. Just a tiny bit. Okay. Here goes. Whatever creature you play, I'm going to shock. Oh. Seven cards in hand, so this isn't waiting on what to discard. Charm Strike. Cool. Just might as well do it now. Boop. Boop. That's the sound they make. Alright. Hiya. We could use something other than lands, please. Anything other than lands. Heck, land destruction would be okay. I could live with that. Meanwhile, they're over there hoping to find land. Ah, uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah. This is what happens when you just keep top decking lands. Which, to be fair, is a substantial portion of the deck. Uh oh. Now we're in trouble. No, we're not. No, we're not. How many lands do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. We can just do both. Hi, uh, yeah. <laughs> no, let's not attack. Okay. And it's lethal. Ah, uh, okay. It fly. Oh, cool, just to draw a card. Charm Stray. Okay. That's interesting. It's an interesting attack. Alright. Good game. You did what you could. 
You did, you did what you could. That was close. That was pretty close. <laughs> Got worried after finding so many lands in a row. Whew. Okay. So we got somewhere. Alright. It's a rare. What is it? Mythos of Snapdax. Artifact creature, enchantment, planeswalker, then sacks the rest. You choose the prize for each player instead. <laughs> okay, that seems cool. It doesn't hit lands though, because that'll never be a thing, unfortunately. I wish, but no, alas. Alright, so I said we're playing to two wins. We'll play to two wins. That's all. Go 0 2 with ramp, and then 2-0 with land destruction? Oh, well, no. Didn't I already play a land destruction game? Before Pixie Dust? Oh no, it's been so long I don't remember. No, that was the first one, because I remember the mana base being weird. Alright, cool. So let's see. I go first. Sure. Why not? This should be 24 lands, by the way. And yes, I know that I could have spent wild cards well, actually, no, I, I don't, because I don't remember the rarity for the other dual lands that I could have used. If they were commons, no, I couldn't. Alright, pass right along. Don't reveal what colors we're on just yet. Cool. We get a Frest. Forest. Alright, well... We'll see what I draw next turn. If it's a land that doesn't come in tapped, we are blowing up. We're going on blow-up city. Uh-oh. Blow up city. Uh, blow up the forest. Alright, here goes. <laughs> Thanks. Alright, between those colors, which one's the more important one for them? I should actually probably hold off on demolish. I don't know if they have any artifacts. The next most important should be swamp, I would bet. Okay. Ah, uh, there's a forest again. Yeah, that's what we're blowing up now. Boom. <laughs> this is so stupid, folks. This is stupid. Alright, we even have a blocker up. Not that it matters. Uh, yes. Yes, please. Boom. Okay. Well, things we can do here. We can go... Beanstalk into Sunder Shaman. Have to get a forest. No, actually it doesn't matter. It didn't matter. Sunder Shaman, yay! It has reverse menace. <laughs> Can't be blocked by more than one. Yay! <laughs> well, well. As quick as those were, I, I kind of would like to go to four wins. Just to get all my coins. That was so dumb. All right. What is it? Wildborn Preserver. Flash reach whenever another non-human creature enters the battlefield under your control. You may pay X. When you do, put X plus one plus one counters on this. Okay. Um, what's up with all these flash green creatures? You know what? Sure. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. All right. How long have we been on? All right. By the standards that this normally goes, not too terribly long. So we'll play it a little bit longer. Dargo. Uh, sure. This seems good. This seems actually excellent. We're going first, and we get turn two ramp. And we get turn three lane destruction. Oh, hi. We do need to be careful, though. This looks like it's going to be a pretty low to the ground deck. Oh, Finn Lurker. Um, thank you. No points. Oh boy. Now let's start doing stuff. Hiya. Alright, miss your land drop. Please miss your land drop. Oh, they did. They did. Oh. We're a terrible person. I'm a terrible person. Okay. Hiya. <laughs> I 
Please don't concede just yet. Not yet. Okay. They're still going. They're still going. Thank you. Alright. So we'll play Sir. And that's cool. Alright. Waiting for all the random enchantment spam, or a spam, to start happening. Alright. I can't actually just kill one of their creatures here. For going the... Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. Boom. Okay. We can kill two of their creatures here. Alright. hi -ya. Boom. Alright. Oh, there's another one. There it is. Target you. Let's see what do we get. A land. Sure. I guess we'll play the land. And then a Sunder Shaman. Rawr. <laughs> and it even gets to blow up enchantments, which that is an enchantment. It can blow up ghost form. Alright. Let's do this again. Alright. Beanstalk Giant. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, we can just hard cast it, but I would rather get the value off of its adventure first. Let's see. Okay. Doing this now because why not? <laughs> I'm sure there's an actual answer to that question. Let's attack first. They can only block with the Eidolon, which they will, because they'll get it right back. Boom. Alright, Ghost Form Trigger. Okay. And then... hi -ya. Giant Giant. It's a 7-7. Seven, seven. Hoorah. Alright. Oh, yeah, now she's done. Oh, you love it. Hmm, okay. Whale. Oh, they discarded. I mean, that's fair. This may be a little premature. Hi, oh, yep, we got there. All right, cool. <laughs> Land destruction, OP, please nerf. Actually, they are in the process of nerfing it. Once rotation occurs, unless we get some new ones in, what, Zendikar Uprising? We're not going to have any more land destruction. Uh, not that I... Actually... Yeah, we won't have any more land destruction. Not just like the four mana sorceries I, I've been spamming. We won't have... What's it called? Ravager Worm? The, the gruel one from... Uh, Guilds of Ravnica or Ravnica Legions? I should know. Ravnica Legions, I think. We won't have that. Oh boy. Oh boy. This one seems a little slower. This one seems a lot slower, actually. Uh, yeah. Let's see if we can top deck an untapped land. Give him the hello. Uh oh. Uh oh. What's this? Cost one less to ca Well, it doesn't matter. We have to kill this thing now. Which I guess means that we'll use an Evolving Wilds instead. Yeah, it makes them cheaper, and then it gets plus one, plus one till end of turn. There we go. There we go. Fire away. Okay. See, now we have a problem. Or no, we don't, because... <laughs> That's just how this works, I guess. We could just... Why be good when you can be lucky, I suppose. Jeez. Jeez. Alright. In before another one. Or Winged Words. That's pretty good. That seems okay. Okay. And they gain some life. That'll totally matter in this matchup. Miscreant. Alright, now that they've tapped out... Uh, it's probably still more important for us to have red mana. 
if we had to err in one direction or another. Um, we can start blowing up lands, but as far along as they are... No, we, we need to, because this thing can draw them cards. So I guess we do need to, don't we? Alright. It doesn't feel great, but it works. I hope. Vandal, uh-oh. Yeah, that was a weird way to cast it. They didn't use the white. Hmm, okay. I have to be careful about how long I wait doing this. Because now they're putting up a pretty substantial clock. If I don't hurry. So I could instead go carry added and then... Oh, if I'd played Thunder Shaman previously, we would have Hellkite Punisher here. So, if I play Carry Added and then Top Deck a land, that'll be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, which is enough for Punisher. If I don't, they'll get to draw a card off of Sailor, and this becomes a 2, 3, and they just drew a card. Alright, this may not be right, but I'm trying it may not be right at all. Okay. Ah, stop. Well. Ooh. Okay. And I found a land. Because of course I did. Okay. Please, Punisher. You, you actually probably aren't going to be enough. Given what's hap- yeah, there we go. There's a counter. Given what's happening here, probably not enough. I made the wrong decision. No, I- it's definitely not enough now. Are any of these enchantments? They're not. Now, all they have to do is just not have a heart attack, and I lose the game. All I have to do is just count. Yep, there we go. Alright, if they swing out, we're done. Sure, why not? Yep, and then we're done. Good game. Yeah, I, I made the wrong decision there. I was trying to keep them off of that mana, but they just kept drawing lands. So, oh well, it happens. Under normal circumstances, I do think that that still would have been the correct play, but they just found their lands. But the one time you actually would like to get mana flooded. Alright, we'll try it. We'll try it again. Oni reject. The opposite of Oni Chan, right? Okay. Um, yeah, this is fine. Start off getting a forest, and then go from there. We'll see what they do from there. Keep. Tell them, hello. Hey. Hey there. Healer's Hawk. No, Gingerbread. Oh, I know what this is. Cool. Hiya. Well, in that case. It's fine, we'll still fire this off first, because even if they get it out of range of shock, we can still use Lava Coil. Aha, okay, that's one. You didn't keep a one lander, surely. Surely. They kept a one lander. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Well, why didn't I play... It's fine. No, that, that was correct. That was correct. I should have used... Why? Why did I not just wait? Wait until they put another enchantment on it, and then I can just negate it. Why? <sighs> Genius. Genius. 
Okay. I do have Demolish in hand. So I can actually go Beanstalk Giant here. Yeah, we'll do Beanstalk Giant, get a mountain. There we go. Alright. Oh, now they find more. That's a bit of a concern, I suppose. All that glitters. Ooh, okay. So now we go... We actually have to use the Lava Coil on Allseed first. That's unfortunate. That is really unfortunate. Okay. So... Hmm. Lava coil here. Exile it. They can try to protect it with Karmetch's Blessing. Oh, okay. That's fair. I don't dislike that one bit. Alright, and then I suppose I do the gate instead of the wilds. No, I, I actually would like to deck then here. Alright, next turn it should be dead. Itchy nose is itchy. Sentinel's eyes, okay. Found another. This is not going to go super well for them. Not particularly so. I hope. Uh, I mean, I'm looking at the number of cards in their hand, and I'm not seeing it going well later on, but they could just... You know, they are going to get a Sentinel's Eyes on this one. Oh, or they could just do it now. Man, they are not seeing this Demolish coming. Ah, uh, that should have been a forest. I have a mountain in, mountain in hand. Okay. Um... Guess I have to do it. Boom. Okay, and then how many do they have? Enough. They have two, so they can put the rest onto it. And does this fly? It does not. Oh, it does. It will gain flying. Actually, they might clutch this out. Sentinel's Eyes goes here, becomes a 1 4. Vigilance. Yep, okay, there we go. There's that. If they don't find a land, Beanstalk Giant as a blocker. If they do find a land, I'm in a bit of trouble. Might of trouble. Um, so we have to play the Beanstalk Giant here. Can't attack or block. Ooh, okay. I like that. I like that a lot. Ooh. Yeah, they might have had just enough aggression to do it to us. This rate, it's looking like it. Hmm. Play you. And then if they attack and don't have an extra land, we can use Dragonfire as well. Finish it off. Un legendary uncommon creatures. <laughs> like, oh no, no. We're gonna be one away from dead. Okay. So then next turn, Seer can use her ability along with Dragonfire, and then we're dead to a Ginger Brute. We will just be dead to Ginger Brew. Well, on this turn, I can actually wait on using Seer just because of Ginger Brew. We can do both, actually. We can blow this up and have Paradise Druid out. Another one. Oh man, we need another land destruction spell, or any creature destruction except... Well, okay, now we need Lava Coil. Or 
do we? Lava coil or bust. Let's go. It is a little more complicated than that, but that's the big... Okay, there's demolish. Never mind. Never mind, we're good. Oh, please don't tell me... No! Good game. Yeah, they had us. That was, that was good. That was good. I dig that. All right, all right. That was cool. So close. It felt like we were just about to turn a corner. Uh, but alas, they never didn't have it. Rotor X. Yes. Oh yes. This hopefully will work very well in our favor. We'll have Turn 2 ramp, turn 3 land destruction, on the play. One misconception about being on the play in a deck like this, yes, it does let you get your land destruction out, but it gives them an extra card to try to draw through your land destruction. So it's not perfectly better. It does have that weakness. That said, it's, it's fine most of the time. You still greatly prefer to be on the play. I can start off with a mountain to give them the wrong impression. Alright. And I didn't hold full control, which means I didn't hold up shock. Unfortunately. Alright. Let's see. Oh, just doing it now. Ooh. Okay. Obvious play is obvious. Reverse is mill. Hmm. Okay. Mono blue mill? Aegis turtle. Oh boy. Wait, no. This is a one mana 05? That's... That's silly. Alright. Let's see. Ugh. I do want to be careful because they can mill this. Still, if they can't off of one, maybe two mana, then we're okay. If they do mill it, though, I'm in a bit of trouble. Oh, nope, there's white as well. I'm sorry, when it enters, target... Okay. Cool. That matters. Wait, doesn't this thing have... It does have flash. That's a weird time to use it, to be honest. Okay, so we did get that. I guess I should destroy another land first. Yeah. Blow up the blue. That seems slightly more important. Oh. Yes. Although I'm only going to get one of those. Alright. Guildgate. As you do. I'm only getting one because Beanstalk Giant here is going to uh, retrieve the other. Alright, cool. Retrieve, shuffle the other, I should say. Alright. Is that? Get out a forest. Alright. Play it out. And I can actually throw both of these down. Alright, there we go. Now we have all of the mana that we could ever, ever need. Alright. Yeah, we're in fine shape here. Let's see. So if I play Sunder Shaman first, one, two, three, four, I'll be left with one, two, three, four, five, six. So not quite enough. Uh, still. I don't know if they'll. Yeah, this is fine. It's not correct, but it's it's okay. Beanstalk Giant would have been bigger. Yeah, okay, they got we got there. Land destruction got there. Woo! Woo! 
The secret is that the, the button's undone. That, that gives the superpowers. That's how that works. Alright, so that's four wins with <laughs> Artisan Land Destruction. So silly, but I guess it worked. And the quest was play red or green. I should have I should have taken that as a clue. <laughs> I couldn't play red because of cavalcade. I couldn't play green because ramp is terrible, or was for me anyway. So just play the opposite of ramp. Play let your opponents not have lands, and it worked out. All right, that's that's it for now. Uh, you know what? Let's see. Before we go, is there a daily deal for packs? There is not. Okay. Oh, Michael's on. Wait, 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 wait. There we go. Issue a challenge. Oh, for Michael, what should I what should I play? Let's see if he's on. We'll give him a give him a little bit first. Oh, there it goes. Chall I challenge you. Let's see if he's on. All right, Michael. I have no idea. <laughs> what should I play against him? Um, should I should I troll? Him? No. No, let's not troll him with the land destruction. The very first time that I played that deck against, not obviously not the one I just built, but land destruction in general, we ended the game with him having zero permanence on the board. So, uh, I, on the one hand, I kind of would like to get that on camera, uh, because it, it, was, uh, it was done on Twitch and it wasn't saved, it wasn't archived, so it just rolled out. So, unfortunately. But, Maybe not to be a jerk. Maybe I should play something else. So I guess we'll give a uh, glass. We'll give Golgari Glass a, a try against him. We'll we'll see if he's. I I don't know. He may be in the middle of a game. He may not be. He may be on, but not actually. He may be logged in, but not actually at his computer. Who even knows? Who even knows? Give him a bit longer. Uh, in the meantime, what I was about to say earlier is I could pick out a couple more packs and then Evangeline can open them. So, I there's not really anything that I would like to spend the coins on. There's no more historic anthology that I can go in and buy. Uh, three's already bought, two's out, uh, out of the store. Other than that, I don't really need anything cosmetic. I never buy cosmetic stuff in games like this because it's hard enough to be a free-to-play player <laughs> when you're actually spending the coins on real packs, actually trying to grind. Uh, so I guess we'll do... Uh, Ikoria gives me the best lands for right now. And it has a few other cards that I would like to see, that I would like to get. Uh, whereas M21 does have the Scry lands in it. I will give them just a little bit longer. Actually, let me see. I think that the challenge can still be going while we're looking through. So for packs, yeah, probably a Coria. Um, hmm, probably. Somehow I managed to get all four of a given uh, Triland, but zero copies of another. I'm not sure how that happened, but okay. So then what we have right now is should be only four, six Ikoria packs. It's four of Theros. Yeah, yeah, we'll do Ikoria. That's fine. And then these will be what Evangeline will get, will open up. She's my good luck charm. So we'll pick two. And there we go. Don't have enough coins anymore. That's another way you can prevent yourself from being tempted. Alright, still going. Alas. Alright, I guess I'll do the outro. And if he, if he happens to jump back in, we'll just, we'll just change it here. Alright, so... That's probably it for now, maybe. Alright, take care, Magic Community, and I will see you all later. Bye-bye! <laughs>